Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve this puzzle. Crosshair 2 by Garlic Red Fries, placing marks on the grid. I'll explain all my Sudoku tips, tricks, and strategies as I do it. Click on the link below you want to try this puzzle yourself. And with that, it's solving time. First thing I see is a pointing pair of twos. So this two comes up, this two cuts across. So the twos are limited and blocked to the row three here. And that means those are only two spots for two right there. Other things I see. Uh, I see quite a bit of 7, so 7 and 7 means there's only one spot for 7 block 5. Cutting across, these 7s are now a pointing pair, because this 7 here, this 7 cuts up, so and this 7 cuts across, so a 7 has to be right there. Nice. Let's leave two spots for 7 here. This is called Snyder Notation. Anytime you only have two of a cannon, and in particular three by three block, you make those marks. So in case I can solve one of these cells, the other one I can immediately solve for 7. It lends itself to some more advanced strategies. What else am I looking for here? Uh, let's look at the eights. Two spots for an eight. There. Eight, eight. Oh, I can actually solve for an eight. Right here, and there's my two. Nice. And I can solve for an eight right there, which is nice. And now, solve for four right here. And I can solve for a 4 right here. And I think I got some more play here on the 4s. Because it looks like this 4 is cutting down. I see these two 4s are in only two spots here. So that's a pointing pair. So 4 here, 4 there, 4 cutting across. This has to be 4. Nice. All right. Uh, the 1 has to be right here. Okay, great. And now that leads us, you see how this 5 cuts across rows, so that has to be a 5. And so now what we have here, it looks like a 4, 6, naked pair. I will make that mark. Great. Uh, I can solve for a 1 up here. And two spots for a 1 down there in block 9. Alright, what else can I do? 1, 1, 3 spots for a 1 here, but I won't mark those. Uh, anything else to do with the 8s? Yeah, so the 8s are a pointing pair right here because this 8 cutting across and this 8 coming down. So that means that can no longer be an 8. The 8 in column 7 has to be in block 9. So it makes that an 8. Cool. Um, and 8s are in those two spots there. I'll make that mark. Alright. Uh, I can solve for 5 right here because of this, these two 5s and this 5. And then, let's see here, 5 and a 5, this has to be a 5. And so now, this is a 6, 9. 6, 9, uh, naked pair. Nice. And you come down here, it looks like 3, 6, 9. I will make that mark and kind of note that the 3s are limited. In spot. So this has to be a 3 right there. Because of these 3s. Okay. Two. Two is going to be one of these two spots. It's a pointing pair, which means we can limit that at two, and this is a two. Nice. So two, two's there. Uh, looks like two's one of those two spots. We'll make that mark as well. You're making pretty nice, nice progress here. I like this puzzle. Four, 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 four. Can't do anything of that. Um, Kind of hunker down here a little bit more. So it looks like another three, six, nine. Oh, that's a three. So was it five, six, nine? Okay. So there's only one spot left for five right there. So that makes this a six, nine. Got it. And then what do you have here? It looks like this is a six, nine. And this is a six, nine. Okay. Uh, I see something here. We have what's called a remote pair. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, see these four cells? Six, nine, six, nine, six, nine, six, nine. Bye bye cells all connected. So if this was a six, that'd be a nine, that'd be a six, that'd be a nine. And so a six or a nine couldn't be right here. Vice versa, if you put this is a nine, that's a six, that's a nine, that's a six. So when you see these remote pairs, they have to be an even amount. So there's four of them, four of those cells. If there's five cells, it wouldn't work, or three. Uh, same two candidates, 
and I'll see each other. So you can eliminate those two candidates from whatever C is the front and the end of that uh, remote pair. So that cannot be a six or a nine. That has to be a three. And so I'll get rid of this coloring. Awesome. If you're curious about uh, remote pairs, I'll put a link to my remote pair tutorial right here. You can go check it out. Talk a lot about remote pairs. And really fun solving technique there. Uh, what's interesting now is you still have you know this six nine thing going on here. I wonder if there's more to play with it because you got uh, like this six nine up here, six nine to this six nine. I'm kind of curious where this is going to go because what I think what you can see is there's actually going to be another six nine right here. And the reason being is these two six nines cover these two squares, so this has to be a three seven naked pair. Um, and what that means is, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, you see how this six nine ends right here? And this six nine is right there? This right here cannot contain a six or a nine. This cell right there cannot contain a six or nine, by what I just said before. Very cool. So what can it be? Um, can it be a one? Can it be two, three, four, five, six or nine. It's, this is going to have to be a one right there. So let me get rid of all the coloring and solve that for a one. And then we solve that for a one. Cool. I love that. Like the double remote pair thing going on. Very nice, garlic bread fries. Very, very nice. I, I'm glad I, I'll be able to see that. Uh, I love seeing remote pairs in here. Okay, cool. All right. So we're going to put some ones right there. Actually, we can solve that for a one, that for an eight, and then this for a one, and get rid of this one. I get a little ahead of myself. Probably need to just kind of do a little bit more scanning before I start making those marks. Uh, what do we have right here? So six nine five six nine. The five, you know, you'll notice is now. Uh, this actually has to be a five, so that's going to be your your five. This is going to create another, believe it or not, six nine. Uh, one two three four. One two three four five. And I can't do any more. There's a lot of the six nine business going on. This is really cool. Um, four six here, so four four. That can no longer, that can't be a four. I could have marked that a long time ago. And then here you're looking at looks like two six. And this is a two six. Okay. Um, and what we got up here looks like this would be six seven nine. So six seven nine, uh, and this would be yep looks like six seven nine as well. Okay, uh, but this with this four six, what do we got here? Looks like two seven nine, and then that can't be a two. That's a seven nine. Two seven nine. Two seven nine. Okay, hopefully not I have to fill in all of these spots. Uh, I was really digging this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another interesting thing, this right here cannot be a six or a nine either, because you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So with this and this, wherever they see, that cannot be a six or nine. What can that be? Uh, three, can't be a four. Yep, that's gotta be a three. And that's gotta be an eight. So if you use remote pairs three different ways and each little length of it got even further. That was so cool. And now you have a naked pair, six, nine, six, nine. So now that's gonna be a two. And get rid of that two nine. That's going to be your seven. This is going to be a three. That's going to be your seven. That's going to be your nine. That's going to be your six. And now we're going to be able to solve hopefully some of these sixes and nines. Because that's now a nine. And that's a seven. All right. We got their two. So that's your six. And then that's your two. Sweet. So now nine, we're going to clean up this remote pair and figure out where the actual sixes and nines are. Six, nine, nine, six, 
whatnot. I really like this puzzle. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I love when I, the strategies get played out and like showcase. Like you showcase remote pairs and how cool, what cool things you can do with them in this puzzle. So I really, really appreciate that. Garlic bread fries. Uh, and then across here we got two, three, uh, two, three, six. So I see two, three right there. So that's your six. I got a two right there. So that's a three. And that's a two, and I realize that those aren't threes. That would have been a four nine. Makes a little bit more sense since the three is already right there. Sorry about that bad marking on my end. Uh, but we have a nine right here, so there's four, there's nine. Here's six, there's four. All right, almost big snafu at the very end there, but I caught it. And four, and we're looking for a nine, and what's left in here would be a three. So check out some of these other cool solving videos from my channel, including Crosshair by Garlic Bread Fries. Don't forget to buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Garlic Bread Fries, for letting me feature your puzzle on my channel. I really appreciate uh, you know, the setting, the ingenuity there. A very cool puzzle. Thank you so much for watching.